Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. What five stocks have senators been buying recently? Well, in this video, you're going to find out. I'm going to dive into the SEC filing of all the senators in the US and what stocks they've been buying and selling. And then I'm going to dive into one of the main stocks that they've been buying and that is Vroom, which is an online auto sales company in the US. I'm going to do a deep dive into that stock and compare it to one of its competitors, which is Kavana. So I've got a lot in store for you in this video, guys, and I think you'll find it immensely valuable. If you do find value in these videos, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the channel. If you're new around here and you still haven't subscribed, feel free to join the investing family by hitting that subscribe button and turning that notification bell on. And if you do want to know in real time exactly which stocks I'm personally buying, selling, and access my entire portfolio, and join a thriving community of some of the finest people on the internet, then feel free to check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. With that being said, let's dive in. Okay, so kicking things off, let's just dive straight into the SEC filing and let's dive into the Senator's latest buys and sells. I'm going to just do a quick fire through these. So we're here on the SEC website and we can see Mitch McConnell straight off the bat, who I believe is the Senator for Kentucky. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. He's purchased Wells Fargo, the bank. Um, there was a filing for this, which was done on the 16th of March. 2021. So he's invested between a thousand and fifteen thousand dollars in that stock. Warren Buffett actually sold that stock, so I don't think that's a great purchase. Now, this is what must be made clear with these senators just because they're senators does not mean they're good at picking stocks. But, but I would say they most likely have above average intelligence and maybe they have some inside political connections, so that could be an indication of a good stock to buy. So, this is why it's nice to look at these trades. Okay, next on the list, another interesting one which I saw, which was Penn National Gaming. Now, this is a really interesting one. Great company in the gambling space in the US. So, definitely that's an interesting one for you guys to check out. That was purchased by Patrick Toomey, and he invested approximately $1,000 to $15,000 in this stock. Next, we have Intel Corporation, and this was purchased by Thomas R. Carper, and he invested up to $15,000 in Intel. Now, Intel had a real big problem with basically falling behind with their manufacturing of new chips, and that's what caused the stock to plummet. So this senator saw that as a potential buying opportunity. It is a nice long-term play, Intel. It has got a great brand. Yeah, the company still does have a lot to do in terms of recovery. Okay, then we have Apple, and this was pitched by Ron Wyden, and he invested up to $15,000 in Apple on the 18th of February. Now, this is the final stock I wanna talk about, and this is the one I'm gonna deep dive into in this video. And this is Vroom Incorporated. This was purchased by Bill Haggerty, and he invested up to $15,000 in Vroom. Now, Vroom is a recent SPAC, and this company is basically, it's an e-commerce play on the auto industry. So, so basically, it's a car selling company, which is basically 95% online. So here's the company's website. So delivery now and always buy a car entirely online and have it safely delivered contact free. So you can buy cars on there purely online and you can also sell or trade a car on there purely online. So that really is the unique factor with this company. So you can shop trucks, SUVs, sedans. So you can get a car delivered to you contact free, which has meant this company has benefited hugely in this whole pandemic. And that is one reason I believe the company went public recently. Now, personally, I do like to test drive a car before buying it, but things are changing in life. People, people haven't really got the time to go to a forecourt and actually test drive a car. So let me know what you guys think. Would you guys buy a car purely online or would you prefer to actually maybe find out about the car online and then test drive it in person? Now let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But what I find exceptional about Vroom is this company has had exceptional growth. So if we dive into the fourth quarter and 2020 results and we'll see something really special here. So highlights of the fourth quarter 2020. 11,000 e-commerce units sold up 74% year over year. So that's incredible growth. Generally, I say growth stock is one which is growing at least 20% per year, 74% guys. So this company's got incredible growth. It really is a high growth company. Revenue up 43% year over year. Gross profit up gross profit up 95% year over year. So this company is net unprofitable at the moment, but it's getting closer and closer to true 
profitability on a net basis. But is this just a fluke? Is this company just benefiting from the pandemic? Well, I'll dive into the guidance for 2021. For the full year 2021, we expect triple digit year over year growth in e-commerce unit sales and more than 200% year over year growth in aggregate gross profit. So this company is expecting high growth for the next few years. So it does seem like a potentially exceptional play. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is the major competitor for this company, and that is Carvana. So Carvana is a similar company, but Carvana is also known for its car vending machines. So these are giant vending machines where you can actually buy a car and have it transported to you. So Carvana is basically like the Amazon of the online retail space for cars. And Vroom is more like the eBay. So it's still a great company, but it's not really as big and as powerful as Carvana at this moment, or as iconic, I would say, which has mainly been helped by Carvana's immense vending machines. So if we dive into Stockopedia, this is software I use to analyze stocks. If you guys wish to check it out, I've got an exclusive 25% discount link. I'll leave it in the description below. It's exclusive only for you guys, the viewers of Motivation to Invest. But what I've done with this platform is something really special. So I've compared Vroom to all of its competitors across all its financial metrics. So I've got Vroom and I've compared that to Kavana. And I've also compared it to CarMax, which is another used car auto retailer in the US, but, but these guys are more brick and mortar. And then I've also compared it to a UK player, which is AutoTrader. Now, AutoTrader is a fantastic company. AutoTrader, I know the company because I know it personally. I've used it in the UK. It's basically a company where you can buy and sell used cars. But, but the difference with AutoTrader to a company like Vroom and Carvana is with AutoTrader, you basically, you'll, you contact somebody who's selling their car personally, and then you'll go to visit the personal person and their car. You'll negotiate a price and you'll buy the car. And Auto, an AutoTrader makes their money by charging someone to list their car in there and also pay to boost it up on the listing. So that's how Auto Trader makes their money. Me personally, I think this company's got a fantastic competitive advantage and moat. And according to the Stockopedia comparison, Auto Traders come out as the winner. So that could be one to look at, but it's a very different company to Vroom or Carvana. So firstly, see Vroom and Carvana, they're based in the US. The US is a much bigger market. Vroom's more of the high growth play, high risk, high reward, high growth play, still a fantastic company. Carvana's more of the established player, Auto traders, UK only. CarMax, mm, potential value play. But they, yeah, they've got a lot of brick and mortar retail locations. The key metric I want to look at is the valuation. So if we look at the price to sales ratio, and the price sales ratio for Vroom is just 3.67. So the stock's currently at a pullback. So this means you're only paying 3.6 times the company's sales. If I compare that to Carvana, Kavana has a price sales of 8.3. So you're paying eight times the company's sales. So it's clear Kavana has a higher valuation. Um, Auto Trade has a price sales of 18, but it is a profitable company. And CarMax has a price sales of just one. So CarMax is the value play, but really it's it's more in the brick and mortar space. So if we just look at Kavana and Vroom, Vroom seems like the better value company right now, but of course it's not as big and not as established as Kavana. So what about the CEO? Because I always like to dive into the management of the company and it's clear Vroom has an experienced CEO. So the CEO at the moment is Paul Hennessy. And he was basically the former CEO of Priceline.com, otherwise known as Booking.com. So Booking.com, the major leader in travel e-commerce. So that's a fantastic person, I think, to have in this space. However, I do think he'll have a much tougher job selling cars online compared to selling vacations online because, because selling vacations online is a no-brainer. It's so easy and it's so obvious, whereas selling a car online could be a lot more difficult. What excites me is when I see a stock which has had a major decline. So it's... In June 2020, the stock went public via a SPAT merger, I believe. Went public there, $43 per share. Then, of course, during that time, the market was hot. There was a lot of bullish momentum. It skyrocketed by 51%. And now, if we look at now, there's been a major pullback. It's down by 43%. This isn't really specific to this company. This is a major sort of general market correction, which has occurred across all growth stocks due to rising interest rates. So this could be a potential buying opportunity right now. The price isn't bad. It's had this major pullback. So yeah, it could be a potential buying opportunity. Of course, guys, this is not financial advice. I'm just giving you guys the research I've done on some companies right here. Estimated fair value per share, I can see 
for room stock right now is $32 per share. And um, if you guys want access to this valuation model and all the others I've got for around 50 different stocks, and you can also plug in your own numbers and have a little play around. I've got, basically you can access this in the VIP group and you can download it and play around with it there. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below. But yeah, if you want to write this down, $32 per share is the fair value of the stock right now according to this discounted cash flow model. And basically, you can look at this two ways. If you want to be a traditional Warren Buffett style investor, you want to be investing with a margin of safety. So generally, you want to be investing at a lower price than the actual value of the company. But if you're more of a growth investor and you're not as bothered about valuation, you can see it's probably, yeah, it's slightly above the fair value per share. So you might still be interested in the stock at these levels. I don't think it's personally that bad at these levels. Would I load up the truck at these levels? Not necessarily, but that's more of a personal thing with me. I've got so many different stocks at the moment and there's a lot of opportunities around. So yeah, I'm just trying to find those exceptional deals to really load up the truck. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you did find value in this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. If you want more valuable content like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on. And if you do want to know in real time exactly which stocks I'm buying, selling, and access my entire portfolio, the stocks and the story of I grew my portfolio from $20,000 to over $200,000. You can access all that in the VIP group in addition to a thriving community of investors. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below if you're interested. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an incredible day and I'll see you in my next video. Invest safe.